Let's take a look at subtracting unlike denominators. When I say the denominator, it's the bottom of the fraction, the bottom number here. So if we're looking at visually, this is fairly simple. I can take this and I go 5 eighths. I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 eighths. And I've only got 1, 1 quarter. So if I take this 5 eighths right here, and I subtract one quarter, I can look at this right away and I could say, well, shoot, if I had this block right here, and if it is the same size as this, I can just take this block here and I can wipe it out. I can go, wham, it's gone. Um, or I can look at it even a little bit finer and I can split this in two and I can say, well, shoot, this one quarter looks like it is, it's just basically two eighths. So if I do that, and I look over here and I say, well, how many do I have left? I've got one, two, three, three eighths. Or I can say I have one eighth plus one eighth plus one eighth. But I prefer saying we've got three eighths, right? So how does that look like in the equation? Well, because it's kind of like apples and oranges here. We're going to look at this because this doesn't always line up like this and we don't always have a great visual. We're going to do this. We're going to say, what can we do to this one quarter to make it easy to subtract it from 5 eighths? Because we can't just subtract it right now. It's just kind of crazy. If you had a calculator, maybe it'd be a little easier. But we're looking at this. So first thing we have to do is we have to take the denominators. So we're going to do the same thing I did right here. And I'm going to make this 4 magically right here. Not magically, I guess. But we're going to turn it into an eighth and into an eighth. And we're, going to, we're not going to talk about 1 quarters. So we're going to make it all apples instead of apples and oranges here. So if I look at this, I'm going to say, all right, so how many eighths are in uh, 1 quarter? So I'm going to say, well, I know if I do 4 times 2, that's going to equal 8, right? And if I look up here, I have to, whatever I do to the denominator, I have to do to the numerator. So I have to do the same thing up here, and that'll keep my fraction the same. So really, 2 eighths is the same as 1 quarter. So now I have 2 eighths, and I've got 5. So I've got a new equation now. So in my new equation, let's go right here, is going to be 5 eighths minus 2 eighths. Now I've got simple kind of subtraction here. 5 minus 2 equals 3. And I don't say 8 minus 8 equals 0 because look at, I'm taking 8s out of there. I'm talking about, I'm taking fractions out of there. I'm not saying I'm subtracting this 8 from this 8, right? I'm subtracting these 8s from these 8s. Okay, so does that make sense? So then I have 3 8s left over. But look at that. Now, visually, it was pretty easy because I had everything lined up, but um, this isn't always so easy. So sometimes we have to do it mathematically in an equation like this to figure out the answer.